It is the 16th of the 1st, 2012. This is today's climate change update. I'm going to ask all grunting about Phobos, please be referred to my previous video about it still in orbit. Uh, as of 4.30 UTC, I still have it uh, at 60.6 miles above the Earth and moving. But anyway, let's go over to Scott or SOT.net, large-scale seismic activity rising along planet's southern pole. We had a couple of pretty big quakes down there today, 6.6 uh, .6 magnitude followed by 6.2, and 5.1 aftershock. Uh, these are all going down on the southern plate in, Ant in Antarctica. 25 volcanoes in Indonesia now showing signs of abnormal activity. You got to remember uh, Indonesia is a very active uh, part on the Pacific Ring of Fire. 25 volcanoes in Indonesia are now being showing abnormal activity or have been put on alert or watch status. Uh, the presidential special aide said here on Saturday. According to official data, 25 volcanoes are now under alert. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, war drums are beating, Iraqi suicide bomber kills 53, will sectarian violence lead to a civil war? And uh, don't worry, there's plenty of Blackwater mercenaries there to take care of business. Uh, sad story about that cruise ship, 5 dead, 17 feared missing as cruise ship hits reef near Tuscany, Italy. Um, apparently I heard stories about the captain being arrested for uh, abandoning ship early or something like that and uh, putting people in danger until they find out exactly what happened. Apparently they were like two or three miles off course. And of course the, uh, the economy stuff, financial markets close in turmoil, turmoil as downgrades spread across the Eurozone. And that's about all new they have tonight. Over to... Uh, Oh, that was the extinction protocol. Wow. Over to SOT.net. Canada radioactive iodine in rainwater. Public was in the dark. Uh, after Fukushima nuclear accident, Canadian health officials assured a nervous public that virtually no radioactive fallout has drifted to Canada. But last March, a Health Canada monitoring station in Calgary detected an average of 8.18 becquerels per liter of radioactive iodine, an isotope released by the nuclear accident in rainwater, the data shows. And this just goes on that uh, they've been covering this stuff up since day one. Uh, our government, their government, everybody's government. Uh, they've got the 25 volcano in Indonesia story, the South Pole story, of course. And what's causing all the record dry weather and mild winter temperatures in America? Question uh, mark. The first week was the driest in U.S. history, with more than 95 percent of the U.S. reporting below average snow. I can contest to that. Very warm and uh, mild here in Iowa. About half the U.S. had temperatures at least five degrees Fahrenheit above average during December. <laughs> Uh, yeah, they're just going on to say it's been a very, very weird year weather-wise, as far as winter goes, anyway. Uh, over to the RSOE. Uh, cold wave in the state of New Jersey. Hudson County, uh, apparently it's going to get cold enough there uh, that they're telling the hom homeless people to get their butts into the shelter. They're, they're opening up some places for uh, em emergencies uh, kind of thing. They're declaring emergencies so they can spend money to help these, these homeless people out. And they're telling people to stay off the street. Supposed to be like 19 degrees out. Uh, flooding in Indonesia, uh, three districts, pretty extensive. <clears throat> and we have flooding in Thailand, fairly extensive. Uh, we had a tanker sink in Saudi Arabia, an oil tanker. Uh, they say it was due to heavy winds uh, near the port of S H A R J A H. Uh, they're saying heavy winds brought the tanker down, they tried to anchor it, that kind of thing, but they're not saying uh, if the tanker was full, if the tanker was empty, what kind of spills going on, uh, nothing like that, but uh, they have it down as a moderate uh, level event. Flooding in the Philippines, 
Uh, extreme weather in Australia. Apparently, they're they're dealing with uh, the supercell thunderstorms like we have in the uh, normally have in the Midwest um, in the summertime. As far as these really packed, strong little storms just flying through, uh, causing extensive damage in in Australia. So they're not cutting a break anyway. Uh, of course, we've got the the Phobos grunt uh, going on. That's about all new they have. Over to the nuclear stuff. Uh, they're saying 3.75 sieverts per hour were detected far above reactor number 3 by helicopters dumping water on March 16th of 2011. And uh, we all saw videos of that where they were actually dumping the water over these uh, cooling tanks to keep them from melting down. A nuclear scientist Nagasaki survivor canceled Fukushima press conference because government government officials were worried about causing widespread fear. Uh, Japanese government data: 65 percent, 65 percent of marine life test positive for cesium in November. Average catch exceeds new radiation limits at 111 becquerels per kilogram. And that's the post-Fukushima numbers, uh, insanely high. Uh, the fish and the Pacific and the currents. Japan official, Fukushima nearly as serious as being attacked by nuclear weapons. If facts were known, all citizens might have left Tokyo. Uh, study authors now 20,000 excess U.S. deaths after Fukushima, not 14,000. Follow-up article looking at age groups, cities, and they have an audio on that. Canadian official iodine-131 in rainwater was above recommended level for drinking water during March. It should not exceed the guideline, quote-unquote. The government failed to, do, to disclose findings. And uh, it just goes on and on. We've all been nuked. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, physician suspects Canada will see more cancers, decreased fetal viability, decreased fertility from Fukushima. We expect them to be generational. And I'm going to leave you with that tonight. Of course, if I missed anything, please leave your comments or attach your videos below. Uh, remember to try to have some fun tonight. Or <laughs> Enjoy what you can, everybody. Thanks.